It came as a rude shock for many who have condemned the purported increase in the pump price of petrol by the federal government from 162 to 212 naira and 60 kobo per litre. Apprehension gave way to despair as petrol stations in Abuja enter a frenzy of sorts in a last-ditch effort to purchase a commodity that stands at the very heart of an economy predominantly driven on fuel consumption for businesses and households. Motorists here say this amounts to cruelty. The one that is producing, we are importing, we are giving other countries fuel. Why should we be buying fuel at that price? It's too much. The usual casualty, transportation fare, foodstuff and other consumables, at times of speculated increases such as this, have already recorded hike in prices even before the infamous post on the PPPRA website, suggestive of how far the market forces could push the price of petrol in line with current realities and at international market rates. Many believe, though, that this can only be made worse if Nigerians are forced to buy petrol at a remotely higher cost than it already is. It's unfair, it's too bad, it's too bad. We are humans, it's too bad. I don't know why our government will just be wicked enough. Honestly, it's not funny at all. And I don't think the government are doing anything possible to make it easy for the poor people. The federal government had promised Nigerians that there will be no petrol price hike in March. That, however, stands controversial, going by the PPPRA's information on its website, despite petrol stations selling at 165 naira today. Many ask, why should the PPPRA incite controversy, since the markets will determine the price ultimately? And should the agency still be in operation with the government's acclaimed deregulation policy?